Does mashing up Pokemon with Metroidvania produce Pokemania? Monster Sanctuary tries to figure it out. Some of my personal favorite games of recent memory include Dead Cells, Hollow Knight, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, among many others, but I draw attention to these games because they are some of the best Metroidvanias. It's clearly evident I have a certain fondness for a good Metroidvania, but one genre that is never truly connected with me is Pokemon-style monster taming and collecting RPGs. Monster Sanctuary looks to blend some of the best elements of both, and has definitely piqued my interest. Now, does a spoonful of Metroidvania sugar make all the difference? Before going any further, I would like to personally thank Team17 for providing me with a review code for Monster Sanctuary. The first moments of Monster Sanctuary feel similar to many retro-style games of recent memory, 16-bit pixel art, 2D, and minimalist retro music. And these characteristics won't help Monster Sanctuary stand out from the crowded pack and oversupply of Metroidvanias that exist today. However, just a few steps into your journey, you realize what separates this game from others in the genre. Monster Sanctuary is less about exploring and backtracking, although secret and locked passages do exist. Instead, the game focuses on monster taming, collecting new monster eggs, hatching them, and leveling them up to aid you in your journey across the lands and become the backbone of what Monster Sanctuary is, for better or worse. The first job as a new monster keeper is to figure out how to fight other monsters, collect eggs, hatch them, and raise them so that they may aid you in your journey. And you initiate battle by just contacting monsters along your journey. You can't avoid them by jumping in the game, but you are limited in your movement. Monster Sanctuary controls fine for a platformer, although it may not have the precision of a game like Celeste or Dead Cells, but that isn't the main reason you would be playing this game. Within the first few hours, I wanted more exploration that I found myself avoiding some of these battles to see what secrets awaited me in the world of Monster Sanctuary. And for my preference, I wanted Monster Sanctuary to be more of a Metroidvania first and RPG second, but it feels the other way around. Battles aren't like your typical Metroidvanias with a simple combination of button presses. Instead, the combat is more methodical and is built around an RPG system where you have to look for your elemental weaknesses on enemies and determine who should attack first as well as which of your characters should be healing. This method of combat provides a depth that most Metroidvanias usually lack. Your team is composed of three monsters which you will quickly find on your travels and monster eggs can be found by defeating that type of enemy in an efficient manner. In the first 48 minutes, I was able to collect, hatch, and level up six monster eggs. You will also have a backup roster of monsters which you can select which three you want to bring into battle. Using each monster's unique elemental is a way that Monster Sanctuary creates a hybrid of genres. Some monsters have the ability to break down walls, revealing hidden paths, and others allow you to float, enabling you to make jumps that seemed out of reach. During your exploration, you will find hidden areas and treasure chests that feature loot such as gold, weapons, and equipment to help you buff your monsters. The Metroidvania aspect of the game echo the more 90s style where exploration is fairly surface deep. If you see a jump too high or a wall blocked by vines, then you just have to figure out how to unlock it. Whereas modern titles completely change the game's mechanics in each new area that you discover. Discovering and leveling up monsters, grinding for slightly better gear, and filling out skill trees are the essence of Monster Sanctuary. Monster Sanctuary leans into the min-max nature of RPGs, where different skill tree upgrades on different monsters make all the difference, or strategically determining which order your monsters attack create the best possible combos. Spending your time creating the best team of monsters for your journey is the backbone of this experience. If you love Pokemon-style RPGs that include collecting monsters, with a little spiced Metroid exploration, then you will be addicted to Monster Sanctuary.